I think I was more nervous about, am I going to make this commitment? Am I able to make this commitment as a man and be able to honor, you know, what I say? You know, because that's a serious commitment when you say you're going to love someone for better, for worse, and, like, be faithful. That's a huge Am I able to do that? And so I think that was really what I was battling with. Justin Bieber may now say that Hailey Bieber is his one true love, but he didn't always feel that way as he opened up to Ellen about having doubts when it came time to fully committing to a lifetime with her. What is up, you guys? Happy Tuesday. It's Susan Morad back here with Clever News. And you could say that Justin Bieber had a slight case of cold feet pre-marriage to his now wife Hayley. He stopped by The Ellen Show Monday to talk openly and honestly about his struggles over the past couple of years, including musically, mentally, and even when it came time to make a decision that would affect the rest of his life. And yes, we're talking about marriage. I had no idea that I was gonna marry her at that time. No, but um, I'm glad it worked out because she's an amazing, amazing, amazing person. But seriously, what better person to get all the dirt out of any celebrity other than Ellen DeGeneres? As the two began talking about Hayley, Justin admitted before he got down on one knee, he was actually extremely nervous. He said, quote, I felt like in the past we talked about, you know, me asking the question and it felt like she would say yes. So I wasn't really nervous about the saying yes, but I think I was more nervous about, am I gonna make this commitment? Am I able to make this commitment as a man and be able to honor what I say? Justin went on to add, quote, that's a serious commitment when you say you're gonna love someone for better, for worse, and be faithful, that's huge. So I think that's really what I was battling with. By now, it's no mystery which decision he chose as he revealed that this is what he always wanted. She really is, she's super precious. Right? Yeah. I enjoy spending my life with her. Justin proposed to Haley in 2018 and the couple got married at a New York City courthouse just two months after getting engaged. They held a much bigger reception alongside friends and family in September of 2019 in a stunning South Carolina ceremony. And can we just take a second to appreciate this adorable photo of Justin and Haley, the first time they actually met when he was literally an infant. He obviously had no idea he would end up with Haley at that age, but we all know that the world works in very mysterious ways. But but speaking of his personal life, marriage wasn't all Justin went into detail about. The two then got talking about his new music he's about to release when she asked him what exactly his song, Yummy, was all about. And I'm sure you can maybe kind of guess where this is headed. Yeah. But, but what were you thinking of when you wrote that Yummy? Um... Yeah. <laughs> My sex life. Okay. Alrighty then. Uh, then again, Justin is married, which he further confirmed just before taking a sip of water or coffee or whatever was in that cup before he said, is it getting hot in here? Pretty sure the audience all collectively agreed that it was in fact getting real hot. But speaking of new music, Ellen also asked about his big return to music, which he promised fans when he joined Ariana Grande on stage during her 2019 Coachella set. And by the way, I'm coming soon. In the first trailer of the Justin Bieber Seasons docuseries released just yesterday, Justin even revealed that it was because of that particular Coachella appearance that he decided he was going to get back into the studio. He said, quote, I think I've been so afraid for some reason. I think we all, as humans, get caught up in this place of fear. You know, just whatever we're dealing with, we're all dealing with fear in some degree. And in that place in my life, I was just battling a lot of stuff internally. He admitted he was afraid of what people would think and would constantly ask himself, can I do this again? Thankfully, Justin came through when he said he'd be releasing new music soon, and I'm talking about like next month soon, you guys. He casually dropped the release date of his new album titled Changes. So this Valentine's Day, there's about to be one less lonely girl. Sorry, couldn't help myself. But in all seriousness, Changes is set to drop on February the 14th, which is less than a month away. Justin also took to Instagram last night to reveal the album artwork and tour dates, which will feature appearances by Kalani and Jaden Smith. And he also released a new song called Get Me featuring Kalani, which is now available for download when you pre-order the album. His Changes tour kicks off in May, you guys, so don't forget to check in on pre-sale dates, which begin this Thursday and go through Thursday Thursday, February 13th. So right now, I want to know all of your thoughts on Justin's interview with Ellen. What were your thoughts about him talking about kind of getting cold feet? And also, will you be attending Justin's big comeback tour in May? Get to talking right here in the comment section below. 
And while you're down there leaving comments, you may as well hit that subscribe button. I honestly don't know why you shouldn't. And also hit the bell to be notified the second we post a new Clever News update. After that, catch up on all the tea you missed right over here. I'm Susan Morad. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'm just gonna head out this way. Like, yeah.